nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, when it comes to the Apple Watch, to be specific with regards to WatchOS, we have a brand new update that we can update our devices to. And this one brings us a step closer to the official release. If we go into the settings right here, and go to the software update page of our apple watch here you can see we have watch os 10 beta 7 and for me on my apple watch ultra updating from watch os 10 beta 6 this is the update size that i have here 216 megabytes and if you are updating your device from a similar update and with a similar device it's pretty much average but if you want to see the download file size here i'll just show you my iphone if we open up the watch app and go to the storage section here you can see the download file size for watch os 10 beta 7 typically like it doubles the update and it's 475.4 megabytes now fortunately this is not all that was released today you can see it's been a busy day and we have ios 17 beta 7 as well as ipad os 17 beta 7 mac os 14 beta 6 this is beta 6 because last week there was no mac os update so that's why mac os is on beta 6 and then we have watch os 10 beta 7 of course this is the video for that and tvos 17 beta 7 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half Tech. so if you want to get to know your device and stay up to date then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now let me go ahead and finish updating my device and then we'll get to see what are some of the software changes and how the system is performing in general as a new update let's go into the settings and see the new build number that we have with this new update so if we go to the about this watch section you can see watch os 10 and the build number that we have is 21r5349b so this build number here ends with a b and in terms of stability that takes us one step in the positive because before that we had 21r5341 and the letter that ended there was a c so this brings us a little bit closer. Now, in terms of new features and changes that this update has to offer, I looked in the software, I looked at the release notes and different forums, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot. And that makes sense being that this is a beta seven and considering also the update size that it came in around 200 megabytes. So there isn't much that's going to change. But for one thing that I did notice is that the overall operating system itself feels more polished and smooth but there are a few more new snoopy animations that i would like to show you so this is a hit and miss sometimes you might get lucky and see a new snoopy animation that you haven't seen before so keep an eye on it and uh, since this is coming over from the previous update you might actually be able to see the same animations on the previous beta 6 but when i see something new i always want to highlight it out and let you know of what's been updated now also another thing that i noticed with this update is that the ping my watch function if i go into my iphone and then ping the watch you can see that the delay has literally been removed before there was a bit of like two seconds delay until the watch rang but now if i keep quiet and ping the watch it's almost instant that's good now also when it comes to this update it's it's fixed on the apple watch and it's also fixed on the iphone and that has to do with the storage so it seems to be optimizing way better and if we go into our general section here and go to storage you can see loads almost instant and you can see everything that's being taken up by the os right here and this ports over to the apple watch application here if we go to general and go to storage and uh, rather go to where it says storage you can see loads really fast and that goes to show that the os in itself is being polished as we get closer and closer to that final or rc release now there are a number of resolved issues that this update mentions and some of those that i would like to highlight for you here the first one has to do with changing your uh, watch face so 
the animation is now smooth and there is no delay like sometimes what i was experiencing below and you can see you can almost swipe and um, it will be almost instant right there so that is a good fix and then there's another fix when it comes to find my if you use the find my application and you leave an item behind you're supposed to get a reminder or notification on your iphone or your apple watch that you have left something behind but on the previous update there was a beta that has now been resolved when it comes to the find my items in that application that has the four dots right there now also there has been a resolved issue when it comes to some formatting issues it could be just text overlay as you look at some of your text right there or as you receive different notifications so that overlay issue has been fixed especially when when it comes to notifications there was an issue whereby notifications show but it's sometimes the text is out of the notification border so like the border will be there but the text will be somewhere above which was an error and that has been rectified with this issue or with this update rather and then if you have interlinked applications that are interlinked between your apple watch and your iphone and they were not sending data they seem to have be working properly which is good and that ports over to an iphone that's on ios 17 or if you're using a mac that's on the latest mac os then also the interconnectivity issue has been fixed now if you do a number of various workouts on your apple watch to be specific the two new ones that received the major improvements are the outdoor cycle and outdoor walk and you are finding it that sometimes it isn't giving you the metrics that you need or it's taking or delaying to be able to give you the update this update fixes that issue and you should be getting those metrics as you want to do so now if i had to mention the overall watch experience here you can see these widgets are working properly and the overall watch experience i'm not having an issue at all when it comes to watch os 10 beta 7 but these are the first few hours since i last updated and if i wanted to show you about you know my battery i haven't also tested it in depth but if you go here just to show you my battery health you can see it hasn't changed here and it's on 100 percent and a big thanks to this is the apple watch ultra for its outstanding performance when it comes to battery life now other than that guys this is how watch os 10 beta 7 is it has a build number that brings us a little bit closer to the final release now in terms of when we should be expecting the next update next week tuesday on the 29th we should be expecting an update i'm suspecting we might get a beta 8 and then an rc probably on the 5th or the 12th depending on when the apple event is going to be and then maybe the official or final release on september 18th that's just my rough prediction or estimate but other than that these dates do change depending on when the iphone 15 and the latest apple watch x or apple watch ultra 2 are going to be released but other than that let me know whether you're going to be updating to watch os 10 beta 7 since it seems what of uh it seems to be somewhat of a stable update and uh stay safe and i'll see you in the next video Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some kill it vanilla. Don't spill the conscious, steal the keys. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitary, sick and tired of wavy, seated like the navy. We don't like to try to split conversations, flipping on the Bible page.